Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you a super simple way to make ranks on your server. Now you've probably heard of LogPerms, a plugin that allows you to create ranks, but it can be complicated for some to use, especially if they're a beginner. Not only that, but you also need a spigot or paper server to run LogPerms, whereas this can be done in vanilla. Well, this is why we've made this video, we're going to be showing you how to make ranks in super simple steps for your vanilla server. To be able to make ranks in the easy way, you'll firstly have to download the NBT Explorer application. We've actually made a video on how to download and set up NBT Explorer, so we'll leave the link to that in the description. Once you've downloaded it, then you're free to proceed to the next steps. Firstly, you'll need to open up your Minecraft game. Then enter a world save you already have or create a new one. When you're inside, you'll have to create teams and join that team so later on we can edit them with NBT. Make sure to type in slash team add and then the team name you want. For example, I'll be making a YouTube team. Afterwards, type in slash team join and the team you created like so. Okay, so now you've joined a team but when you type you'll see nothing comes up before your username, it's empty. That's what we're taking care of with NBT now. We'll be making text appear before your name, also known as making a rank or a prefix. Now that you have NBT Explorer open, you'll just have to find your world save on the save list. Open that drop down, then open up the data drop down and finally the scoreboard drop down. You'll want to open up the data files and the drop down called teams. That's the last file you have to open. As you can see, it says display name and the rank we just made. Now simply click on the member name prefix file to open this window. What you want to do is edit between the quotes. There I'm going to type in YouTube. We're not done yet though, so far all this does is show this before your name. So if you want to add some colour or make it bold, you'll have to use symbols like these on the screen now. We'll leave all of the symbols and what they correspond to in the description so it's easier for you to do this. However, I want to change the colour of the text from white to red so I'll be putting this symbol before the word. This goes for any rank you make. Make sure the symbols you put are before the word, not after, or else it will not work. When you're done, simply press OK. Underneath the prefix, you also have the choice of adding the suffix. This is an example of a suffix. However, you can just skip this if you don't want one. I'm done, so I'll be pressing the save icon at the top. Make sure you do the same. Then, to make sure my rank shows up correctly, I'll be opening my game back up. As you can see, when I type, the rank shows up with my colour. You can add anyone to this team in game by simply typing team join YouTube and the player's username. You can also create different teams in the same way we just created this one and edit them in the same way as well. If you then want these ranks to show up on your server, you just have to make sure you drag your save into your server's file directory. To make these ranks show up on your server, you firstly have to open up your Minecraft folder. You can do that by pressing the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard. That'll open up this small window. Simply type in percentage, app data percentage and press enter. Afterwards, this files explorer window will open up. Just scroll down until you find the .minecraft folder and double click on the saves folder. There you'll have your save. For now, simply minimize this window. Then head to server.pro. If you don't have a server, make sure to purchase one, but if you already have one, head into its control panel. Open up the files tab and that's where you want to drag the save. After it's finished uploading, make sure you rename the save to a simple word with no spaces or characters. Then copy the name before you press rename. Scroll down until you see the server.properties file and look for the line saying level name. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the text you just copied. And that's it, you now just have to save the file and restart your server. Once the restart is complete, you want to head to the dashboard and copy the host name. Then open up your Minecraft game. When it's launched, head into the multiplayer section and then add server. Finally, paste the host name and join the server. When you're inside, try typing something and if you see the rank you made with the right colour and effect, then you follow these steps correctly. If not, make sure to go back and refollow the steps. Well that's it for this video, if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching!